Now that you've learned about the elements and principles of design, we're going to find examples of each of them using graphic design references. So you can refer back to the vocabulary or the video that I have above, and you're going to be finding an example of each of the elements of design and principles of design with an example. So you're going to open up Google Slides, choose a blank presentation, create a Google Slides presentation that identifies each of the elements and principles of design. Items should be accompanied by a graphic design image and a description explaining how each ties into the specific element or principle. So there's 14 total graphic design images that you're going to be finding. You can go to Google and type in Google Slides, or if you're already logged into your Google account, you can go up to the top in the little boxes up here and you should be able to find slides. But I'm gonna search on Google just to make sure everybody's able to find it okay. And it's the first thing that should pop up here, Google Slides. And I'm going to go to Google Slides and create a blank Google Slide presentation. And this is what you're going to use to place your information on. So starting with elements and principles, Google Slides, and please on the first slide make sure your name is on there. Then you're going to be going through each of the elements and principles, finding a example of graphic design, and then writing where you see that graphic design element or principle within that piece. Once you find an example that you would like to use, you're going to save it on your computer. And I saved mine right here on the desktop to make it nice and easy. If you saved it in a folder, you can always go to File and Open or insert and image and I'm going to drag and drop that over onto my slide shrink it a little bit I'm going to move my text box over so I am not overlapping that image when I go to type and this one I'm going to be looking at the element of line So in this slide, I'm going to look at the picture I just chose. I chose it because it has very strong lines that carry you into the center, which graphics design is the emphasis of your design in this case. So they're very nice actual lines that are leading lines carrying you into that space. Notice that they do intersect very strongly at the rule of thirds. So that would be an example of how I would use one of my elements, so in, case, in this case it's line, and write um, a couple sentences that explain how it was successfully used in this slide. When you're finished with your Google Slides presentation on the elements and principles, it should look something like this. Feel free to pause on any of the slides to read the definitions further.
you can submit your Google Slides on Google Classroom under the assignment posted Elements and Principles Google Slides. 